That incredible S14 alongside him, and he starts to creep off the line. Oh, and it looks like the chase car is taking a huge run here onto the first course. Yeah, so here we go. Not sure go. what exactly the tactic was there. I oh, wonder very if, uh, strange uh, uh, set off from the... I'm not sure what happened there at all. I'm not sure if the chase driver knew exactly what the situation was there. I wonder if um, our marshals, our track safety marshals, have decided to give these guys a sight and run, Dave. Yeah, not sure exactly what's happening right now, but it looks like Shannon is uh, negotiating the conditions very, very well. Oh, and a wide, wide line from Kalkin in there. Well, OK, so we are hearing back uh, from the tower and the truck and the marshals from behind us that there is no sighting laps. These guys are going to go straight out. You know, we've seen it before. There's been oil down on the track. We see it two years ago. Bottom of that traffic light is what we're looking for through the chicane, nice and clean. Down they come through the gears. You can see Shanahan a little cautious now, wanders across the circuit. Nice initiation from Villa Kalkinen. Starts to get himself on to that qualifying line. You can see Shanahan now just playing with him, keeping within uh, a couple of metres of proximity. He doesn't want to throw this one away. Oh, and Kalkin in a straight line transition through the middle of the circuit. Shanahan chasing him down. You can see how sketchy this is for these two guys. Wobbling around, wavering on the circuit. Oh, and a wheel drops over the edge of the circuit for Kalkin. And a big wobble again. He's on and off the handbrake trying to balance that S14 on the circuit. As now Shanahan goes for a little dive up the inside. A little look onto the door. Mid-track from Shanahan as Kalkin puts it into the wall across the line. And Shanahan sees he gets the result, takes the win and moves through into the top Set. 16. The drivers are ready. We started with 59. We got to our top oh, 32. To play for as the flames fire at the back of Zachro's car and they fire into that first corner. Yeah, look at that bonnet lifted up on Zachro's car. They're putting so much pace down into that initiation. Shanahan absolutely lit. Look at this. Oh, a little wobble though. Goes for a almost shallow line into that outside zone, finds himself back into it. Zachary attacking on the back bumper. Lost in the smoke, though, is Marco Zachary when he's lost himself. He's way away now as Shanahan starts to play down the power, put the grip to the tarmac and drive away. Well, anything can happen. Yeah, look at this Shanahan, though. Onto the back bumper he goes. Nice initiation, a little bit slow for both of them, to be honest with you. Zachary lights up the tyres as soon as he gets that car sideways. Now Shanahan finds the crease, gets into the zone as he looks down the side of that BMW 2 Series. They come into that front set. Second zone, Shanahan still with him, not lost in the smoke like Zachary did. Shanahan finding the grip, looking for the side of that car, makes a dive, looks for the front wheel of that BMW 2 Series. Shanahan right with him, dials it on a little bit more. I'm going to see how this one goes. Yeah, going into the top eight will be Jack Shanahan, the Irish driver in goes. that top 16. But he's going through to the chicane, goes Shanahan in that lead position. Yuha Ritten and chasing him down now. Fires through into that initiation. Yuha Ritten and will know Shanahan's the fastest man on the circuit, but Yuha Ritten and isn't sure of a few hundred horsepower as he transitions on the back bumper gets himself lost he's going to go for a little dive down the inside he has to break and slow down that's going to mess him up massively Shanahan puts foot to floor tries to drive away as you are written and once again gets lost in the smoke written and dials on the angle in outside zone eight across the line he knows he is faster though look at this onto the back bumper goes Shanahan the car dips down on the foot brake the Shanahan knows is that GT86 up on the inside of the S15 Shanahan right with you are written a lovely transition from both of them as they come flying past down in front of the grandstand. Written and looking on an absolute flyer, but he cannot shake Jay, uh, Jack Shanahan right now. But Shanahan made a mistake, gets left in a cloud of smoke because you are written and sticks it to the wall. To the top four is Jack Shanahan. Jack Shanahan goes through to the top four. You can see the cars go into gear and Kavir, well, he looks on to see who he could potentially face in the final. Here we go through, down they come. Dean on the back bumper of Shanahan's 86. He dials in up onto the rear wheel as Shanahan puts foot to floor, tries to drive away, but James Dean seems an unbeatable task this weekend as he comes down on the foot brake, holding onto it. Oh, and he's washing off the circuit. Just about keeps it together. Oh, Dean goes wide. Dean cannot hang. Lost in the smoke. Once again, another driver falls foul to the smoke screen as Shanahan takes him across the line. The momentum as he tries to chase down Dean. Dean goes for a wild initiation and Shanahan mirrors it absolutely perfect he's glued to James Dean they come full throttle through that first turn Dean and Shanahan transition almost symmetrical as Shanahan is glued to Dean's door look at this from 
Jack Shanahan is unbelievable. Through the smoke, he comes up onto the door of James Dean's S14. And Dean says, wow. Well, going to the final is Jack Shanahan. Jack Shanahan gets the win. He wants to decide these two gladiators. From the north of Ireland, Dwayne McKeever will represent the north. From the south of Ireland, Jack Shanahan. Here we go. Shanahan to lead in McKeever. Oh, look at this. Shanahan. Wow, look at the speed. He's not messing around. Absolutely fires in and he catches McKeever off guard. McKeever is shocked with the pace of Shanahan. Shanahan has turned it up, but he's off the zone. Shanahan struggling down the bottom end of the circuit. Now McKeever sees him wounded as Shanahan backs off the throttle, gets back into it, but McKeever's there as Shanahan tries to evade McKeever, but McKeever's back in the fight. Maybe the final run of the day, and Shanahan is losing a little ground to McKeever on the entry as he tries to climb on the inside. He does a good job here, Shannon, of staying close. Right up onto the door goes Jack Shannon. Contact between both cars in the final, but they stay in it. McKeever goes to the edge of the track. Shanahan goes with him. Now this tricky transition. Shannon almost takes the back end off McKeever's car as they fire into the last corner. Where is Jack Shannon? He's Whoa. on the door. He's right on the door of McKeever as they come across the line. What a finale. He's going to take the win at round three in Sweden. Nobody is because it's going to be a one more time. It's a one more time. There's it is the one more time for top step on the podium. It's Jack Shannon to lead in Dwayne McKeever. Here we go. Oh, look at McKeever. He's closer than he was before, but it's a big mistake. Almost over rotates. The front of the car washed wide. Now needs to get himself back into it. Shanahan down the hill as McKeever gets himself back up onto the rear bumper of that GT86. Flames erupting from Shanahan's car as they transition across the circuit. McKeever gets himself into the zone up onto the pocket as Shanahan goes to the wall. The green one, it's gone green. McKeever through the start line. Shanahan on the bumper, here we go. Big initiation, Shanahan goes for the front wheel, dips out of it, dabs the foot brake. Now, works his way up onto the side of the S13. Dangerous transition as Shanahan glues it to the side of McKeever's S13. Absolutely dialed through the smoke comes Jack Shanahan. He is not letting McKeever get away. One more big dive up onto the side. Can he nose it closer? Of course he can. He rubs him across the oh, line. Oh, my God. And look at this. Pushes onto McKeever's front wheel and just wow. pile drives him across the finish line. Look at this. Look at this from the drone. Who's going to take the win? It's Jack Shannon. Jack Shannon takes the win for round three of the Driftmasters European Championship. He cannot believe it.